Welcome to this 7 minute video on limits relating to Leaving Cert higher level maths. Strand 3 says we need to recognise these two limits by inspection. If we consider the first of these, the limit as n goes to infinity of n over n plus 1. But we can rewrite this by dividing above and below each part of it by n. When we do this, the limit turns into the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over 1 plus 1. 1 over n. Now this 1 over n, let's consider the value of this as n goes to infinity. So what is the value of 1 over infinity or 1 over a very huge number and we, this is going to be something very small. 1 divided by something very big is going to be something very small. Our approach is 0. So the answer to the limit is 1 over 1 plus 0 which is just 1 over 1 which is 1. So we could learn this result but rather than do that, we could also do it in a less formal way, because it's just by inspection. We could use a calculator to approximate this. So for instance, if in a calculator, we can't put in the number infinity, but if we put in a very large number and divide that by a very large number plus 1, what would the value of it be? For example, just even reasonably large number, say 999 divided by 999 plus 1. So 999 divided by 1000 is 0.999. As you can see on the calculator, this approaches the value 1. And this is sufficient for a leaving cert, that you could work this out. Let's now consider the second of those limits. The limit as n goes to infinity of r to the power of n, where the value of r is a number less than 1. So it could be plus or minus, but it's a, a number between minus 1 and 1. So it's a small in magnitude, this number. If you imagine, for instance, if r was a half, just because an informal way we'd look at this. So if you imagine the limit as n goes to infinity of a half to the power of n. So like what would a half to the power of infinity be? Or a half to the power of a very large number? Well, this would be the same thing as 1 over 2 to the power of n, since 1 to the power of n is just 1. So what's the value of 2 to the power of n? Well, 2 to the power of something very large would mean it's 2 by 2 by 2, uh, close to an infinite number of times. And this is obviously going to approach something very, very large, or approach infinity. So what would the value of 1 divided by this very large number? Well, this would be like 1 divided by infinity, almost. And this would have to be equal to 0 something very small or zero. So the limit of n goes to infinity or to the power of n is equal to zero. And we could imagine this a bit simpler even like the half one. Suppose you had a cake and you half it and then you could half that cake again and you half that cake again and if you keep halving it it's fairly obvious that you're going to be left with something very small that it approaches something almost equal to zero if you half it enough times. Now we use this result, this last one, to use a proof that is on the course, to prove the sum of an infinite geometric series. Now we're given at the log table as the sum of a geometric series is given by this formula, and we want to prove again given the log tables that the sum to infinity of a series is equal to a over 1 minus r if r is has the size less than 1. Now we're going to use this result from last. Remember that the limit of r to the power of n is equal to 0. So what's going to happen this time, instead of putting r to the power of n, r to the power of infinity approaches 0. So it's just, we're just subbing that in for 0, and that proves the, that formula. It's a very simple proof.